Hey everybody. Wow. Look on the screen. Let's have, I want to play this brief clip. And when I said they're going to starve you out, this message that you're about to hear from this young lady, this is what I was talking about. Hey, I'm working on a new jingle. Uh, dinner, 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 I'm not a hater. I'm a commentator. You know where that comes from. You know where I know I'm always doing something quirky. I I can't help it. All right. And I really need that. A lot going on. I'm sure you do too. So without further ado, when I say, and people say the things that you say, you know, I'm not always like, okay, Kiki, Mandy. Well, that's going to be bad. Like, oh my God. I get like that excited. Are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? No way. Yeah. I get excited sometimes, but listen to this. Again, when I say they're going to starve you out, I've been saying it all this time. This is what starve them out. In my opinion, probably looks like, listen to this young lady. She's a Chicagoan trying to find a job. I'm just waiting on the day to day about in Chicago wake up and start talking about how these Venezuelans are the only people that's getting jobs. How the Venezuelans in Chicago get an EBT card with $4,000 on them. And every time somebody posts it, y'all always remove it. I'm just... Gee, why would they remove it? They don't want the people to know. They don't want the people to know. Take it down, take it down. Why isn't this on the national news? If it's all just fake news, seriously, why isn't it on the national news? Why? Because they don't want the people to see. This is where you, as Americans are suffering, this is where your tax dollars are going. As Americans, you look up, layoff, layoff, hospitals in Texas. Our friend texted me last week, they're laying off. Layoffs, layoffs. Where's the hiring? Where are your tax dollars going to everybody but you? Going to everybody but the American. Really? Really? Going to everybody but the American. So I'm going to play it one more time. Again, this is what I think they don't want the people to know. Why isn't this on the news? I mean, who wouldn't come here if you're an immigrant? And it's why it blows my mind when it comes to our community. They're like, oh, stop, uh, get to work. What a job at. Why don't you tell the rest of them to get to work? Oh, yeah, let's guess. For Americans, there aren't a lot of jobs. Black, white, Hispanic. For Americans, there aren't a lot of jobs. So, oh, yeah, stop complaining. Pull up your bootstraps. Well, hell, the Americans could pull them up. But looks to me like the immigrants got the boots and the straps. Don't sit up and have people bear me bare. Oh, you're in your bare feet. Well, put up, pull up your bootstraps. Well, I don't have any darn boots, silly. Go make something happen, you think? So this here's also a wake-up call for so many people who are always saying, oh, the minorities are complaining. And now that we got the majority also complaining, the Americans are complaining. Why isn't this on the news? And I'm sorry to say not to offend you, but this is what blue can do for you. And stop and think. You have a lot of people here that don't have resources. You got to do something, but this is crazy. I, I can't believe this. One more time. When I said they're going to starve you out, this is what I was talking about. I'm just waiting on the day to day about in Chicago wake up and start talking about how these Venezuelans are the only people that's getting jobs. How the Venezuelans in Chicago get an EBT card with $4,000 on them. And every time somebody posts it, y'all always removing it. Okay, so hold on. $4,000? What do you need $4,000 for? For, you, for, for, I'm just waiting. For, for, $4,000? Again, are they feeding a little village? Can somebody please tell me? I'm just waiting on the day to day everybody in Chicago wake up and start talking about how these Venezuelans are the only people that's getting jobs. How the Venezuelans in Chicago get an EBT card with $4,000 on them. And every time somebody posts it, y'all are always removing it. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Because it's crazy. Like, 
I want to go fill out a whole bunch of job applications and y'all know them things is in Spanish. Like, not to say I don't know Spanish, but that is crazy, like, how a city can adjust to the outside before they make accommodations for the inside. Because, darling, they don't care. She said she went to fill out a job application and what? The apps are in Spanish. Baby, the handwriting is on the wall. The apps are in Spanish. So the applications for a job are in Spanish. Do you think, especially speaking for the black community, do you think most of them are bilingual? So if the apps, applications, if the applications are in Spanish, that might be an indicator of who they want to hire. This isn't by accident. Maybe they ran out of the ones for English. Oh my gosh, don't be slow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all by design. The handwriting is on the wall. When I said they will starve you out, this is what I'm talking about. This. This mess. When I say they're going to starve you out, benefits. We don't have our own economy how many black business owners have been robbed put out of business or just shot down by some idiot in the community and i've heard some black people say this i've never honestly and i've known quite a few people uh besides caucasian hispanic even asian i've never heard of any of them say something like i don't have to buy from you because you're white because you're hispanic mexican or because you're asian I've only heard black people say that. No one said you had to. News flash for you, speaking in general, for those who think that way, I'm not saying you have to. Understand life business. You need to have your own economy. So, for those that, and like I said, you don't, you don't have to I understand what you're saying. And they don't have to hire you because you're black and don't have your own economy. Think on that. They don't have to hire you. Because you don't have your own resources, your own economy, your own community that has uh, uh, jobs for your people. They say education is expensive. Darling, try ignorance and self-hatred. It costs a hell of a lot more. If the applications are in Spanish, that's letting you know, my dear, who they want. It's not by mistake. If the applications are in Spanish, they are letting you know who they want. Clear as day. C -c Clear as day. So if you don't speak Spanish, don't understand, no need for you to apply. It's all by design. The handwriting right there is on the wall. It's no, well, gee, I wonder what they mean by that. Hey, it's in Spanish because that's the way they want it. Duh. Why do you lock your door at night? You need shelter, some kind of protection from the elements, you think? You don't want somebody just walking in off the street, do you? Of course not. That's why you lock your door. That's a hint. If it's not unlocked, don't come in. I don't know you. So why do you think the applications are in Spanish? They know what they're doing. It ain't no joke. They know what they're doing. They know what they want. They know who they want, but keep on playing. They know who they want for those jobs. As I said before, in Chicago, all that jumping up and down and the kids doing the takeovers downtown, running off businesses, it's not going to end well. This behavior is not going to serve you well, trust and believe. You must don't know how America works. You really thought that was going to continue. And not saying it's applicable to her, but I'm saying to the community at large. The world is watching and seeing, as my dad used to say, You've been here all this time, and you still, what, don't know those people yet. 
the ones that's running the show. You've been here all this time, and you still, well, you still don't know those people yet. You still don't know how the world works. Something is wrong. There is a defect, and it needs to be repaired, like ASAP. Well, surprise, surprise. This is how they work. They're not going to come to you like me with my loud mouth and go, hey, this behavior has got to stop. It's not going to turn out well for us. Y'all we need to stop and get the kids under control. They're not going to do that because they already know you can't do that. Why? Because the group, a lot of our people are so emotionally high strung. Okay, they're not going to come to you and tell you, hey, the behavior has to stop. It's not going to turn out well for you. That's not going to happen. They're going to go ahead and let you do what you're going to do and stand back and watch. Why? Again, the world is watching. They can see how people just even on YouTube try to have a conversation and then the attacks come out. You ain't got that. Nobody what to do. Anybody asking you? You keep uh, imposing your, your, your views on, on other people. You stop all of that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. If it offends you, then my darling, don't listen. Again, I'm not a hater. I'm a commentator. So what I was saying, they're going to starve you out like, like this. They're not going to come to you and say, hey, we're going to make an announcement and uh, all the peeps, y'all not going to get no more EBT. And uh, we're going to take it. The lady already said uh, in that meeting with what Chicago council meeting, she mentioned, and they're taking away our section eight. So let's see. The handwriting is on the wall. If they're taking away the section eight, okay, if they are, uh, you're not getting the food stamps that's needed and with the cost of food, come on. But the migrants, I mean, in $4,000, I just can't believe it, man. I, I, I can't believe it. So if they're taking away your Section A, if they're taking away your uh, benefits, okay, and you can't find a job, what do you call that? I call it Star from Out 101. If they're taking away your Section A, a place to live, then you can't afford the rent. This past summer, all those black folks with those U-Hauls, oh, they weren't going to Freak Nick, they weren't going on a vacation. Oh, no, I'm moving for, no, no, no. They had to get out. Gave them $1,500 and they had to get out. Why? Somebody else is moving in. Move over, America. Here come the immigrants. Move over, Bacon. Here comes Sizzling. So they're taking away your Section 8 for those that really need it. And Chicago already has a high black uh, homeless population as it is. They've got teens living on subways, you know, just, just for shelter in the winter time. So if they're taking away your Section 8, your benefits, and now... Your ability to even get a job they don't want you. What do you think that is? How can people survive? I've heard of so many black people, and this is what someone has told me, have left Chicago. There's nothing there for them. So stay for what? Stay for what? It's by design. It's not by mistake. Oh, we should step. Just <laughs> now they're saying, and don't forget. So the same thing, as I said, starve you out. All, like I said before, the, the location that they've chose, predominantly African-American, it's by design. That's the testing phase. That, that in New York is by design. Are you kidding me? They're not putting them in Beverly Hills 102. 10290. They're not putting them in Malibu. They're not putting them in Battery Park in New York. They're sure as hell not putting them in Soho. It's by design. And now I'm hearing you got to be kidding me that they're getting ready to move some to the A. Welcome to Atlanta. So when I said they're going to starve you out, this is what I was talking about. As my dad would say, our people do what? Always learn too late. Always learn too late. Dr. Claire Anderson been saying about the replacement. Well, the replacement is here. And for the Americans, there's not going to be any cheers. Applications in Spanish. It speaks for itself. The handwriting is on the wall. And I'm afraid 
we're not going to pray our way out of this and standing by. I don't care what the pastor tells you. What's the church, big church is doing? All this, Miss Megan, this, I mean, we've been here all this time and just cannot get along the bill. And the ones that we holler that hate us so much, we sure do love them and make them rich. We know all this time, we can make everybody rich but our own. We're afraid somebody's going to have something. So surprise, a lot of them going to have nothing. Now, last in closing, that report that said uh, by 2030, by 2030, black unemployment is going to be at 50%. By 2030, black unemployment expected to be at 50%. You wonder why. You think it's far-fetched? Think it's moving, things are moving fast. Moving fast. By 2030, black unemployment will be at 50%. As I said, they're going to starve you out. And it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Let me know your comments. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be alert, be aware. Dr. Claude Anderson has been telling us we don't want to hear. We don't have time for that old man. Those books. Heck, I bought two. Those books should have been selling out. His video should be blowing up, but now we're worried about twerking and dancing. Uh-huh. Going to dance your way into poverty. Dance and twerk your way into existence. A lot of our people are. To non-exist, just, just out of existence. You'll see. And then you got your men, and they get some money where you know what they do. But when I said they're going to starve you out, this is exactly what I was talking about. I'm out.